Hey guys, me and Dalton are back again here at Coyote Classics and uh, today uh, we're going to drive this 1964 Buick LeSabre to the hard top. Um, I'm going to kind of label this big boy's car. I'll tell you what, uh, me and Dalton are a couple big boys and we fit in this car. <laughs> awesome, man. This car runs and drives fantastic down the road, a ton of room and uh, just a really cool unique style. As Dalton opens up the hood, we're just going to check it out uh, um, up and down the sides. Very straight car. It's not perfect show quality car. Uh, previous owner had taken it to many shows. Him and his wife uh, were older and they just enjoyed it and shown it and, and uh, did a lot of things like that. But in my opinion, it's just a, a nice driver quality car. A little custom look. Yeah. So a little library. Uh, out. Side pipe. Kind of a, a unique uh, big boys view it. I know, I like it. As far as the power steering, it's got power brakes. Engine compartment, uh, nothing fancy guys. Um, Jason power washed the engine. You can tell the valve covers all that, the paint's off. You know, it's just bone stock, original car underneath the hood. Uh, dual exhaust sounds good. It's got the fake side pipes on it, but it does have uh, true duals coming out the back. Alternator's new. Uh, it's got a newer El uh, AC Delco battery. It's a great car, very dependable, Dalton. Yeah, very dependable. Um, I mean, you don't have to look pretty to run good. Exactly. As we look at this car in a whole, it is just a fantastic looking driver. It's got some chips, it's got some little scuffs, stuff like that. I'm guessing the restoration is probably at least 15 years old. I'd say so. Yeah, and uh, just still really held up nicely. And another thing, it was old person owned, which it was. It's yeah, the nice. previous owners were in their uh, in their uh, late 70s, early 80s, and uh, just made sure that this car was ready to drive uh, cross country if they wanted to. Yeah. Now look at the gap here. We got a beautiful gap on the driver's side. Nice tight gap from front to back. Nice and even. We got a little few little chips like this that we're going to point out. Uh, do the best we can, but again, it's it's not a show car. It's just a beautiful driver. As far as our bumper and stuff goes, the bumper, and I think we'll get into the interior, and I'm pretty sure the interior is original. Don't we check the mileage on it? Because I think it was like 70 some thousand actual. Um, as far as our front bumper goes, it's original bumper, so it shows just a little bit of oxidation. But oh, 70,500 miles, and judging by the floors, frame, trunk, if you go to our website, it's super solid underneath. Jason did a great job power washing all you know, any grease or paint or anything like that. So you can see a lot of the original uh, primer and stuff under there. So very solid underneath. The grill is great. The front bumper and stuff is clean. 70,500 miles, uh, believed to be actual. As we look across the top of the hood, there's four little spots here. There's a little chip here, right here, there, and there. Just a few little touch-ups. Oh, there's some more up here too, there's three more. And he's got with that white, um, this is a problem with quite a white truck too. And with that white, whenever you have a chip, it gets a little surface rust. Yeah. Um, and some steel wool actually might even bring that out. It yeah. will, it's just minor stuff. But it does have a few little chips. As far as our gap and our hood uh, alignment here on the passenger side is excellent as well. So we have some little chips on the hood. We have the dual uh, fake dummy spotlights. Same thing with the side pipes. A guy can easily take that stuff off if that's what you want, but it goes with the theme of the car, Dalton. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Just, yeah, just kind of a wacky, neat car. I mean, got an eyeball wearing a cowboy hat. <laughs> Here we go. Eyeball wearing the cowboy hat. Yeah, pretty cool. It, I think it's very neat. I mean, you'll, you'll be the talk of the car show. Um, Where does the guy get that idea of eyeball wearing a cowboy hat? I don't know. You're speechless. I never, I'm speechless. I mean, I, I got a cowboy hat, but I never kind of put two and two together with, uh, <laughs> never wanted to put it on a car, but you know what, it's, it's pretty neat. It is kind of cool. All right, so it's got the nice spinner hubcaps, tires are in great shape. Um, as far as the paint and body go, good looking dark blue paint. Um, same thing on the top, it's got some airbrush designs and stuff like that in it. As far as our lower fender goes, super solid. It does have a few tiny little chips down there. Uh, the front corner of the door is mint, rocker panel, back corner of the door is excellent as well. 
and artists really, really did this car. Yeah, they did a great with job. The, with these uh, little library and stuff like that, I mean, it's, yeah. it looks great. Inside the, in front of the rear wheel, the back wheel is excellent, no bubbles or blisters over the wheel, nothing behind the wheel. Um, just a great car, guys. The hubcaps are so cool, too. Yeah, they're a neat spinner hubcap, very nice. White walls. There is some air conditioning stuff. I don't think you knew this, but when I bought this uh, um, from Amy, um, anyway, she had told me the air conditioning stuff was in the trunk, so that comes with the car. So the husband was uh, starting to put the air conditioning stuff on it. The back bumper is original and excellent condition. Um, same thing here by the back trim. It's really clean and nice. Got the little flip thing here for the viewing. Inside the trunk is great, guys. Also, look at the alignment here. So it fits really nice and flush all the way across here. The paint on the top of the trunk lid is excellent. Um, it is not like what we got going on the hood where we had a few chips. Um, the back end of the car, just, gosh, it's a good looking car, man. It's the same thing as the damn Impala. Yeah. It's just yeah. Buick's version of an Impala, 64 exactly. Impala. Same exact roof line, guys. You'd be cruising down the street in your 6'4". There you go. So super solid inside and out, beautiful roof line. Same roof line as the 64 Impalas, guys. Love the two-tone. Yeah, it looks really cool. Here's the best thing about the whole car, in my opinion, 70,500 actual miles. Um, on the interior, I mean, it's almost got to be. You can see that there's just a little bit of wear on this uh, armrest. There's a little bit of wear on the, the actual original Sabre uh, door panels. Um, the carpet might have been changed, but the seat covers look original still. The headliner is magnificent, super tight. No one has ever jacked with this headliner, Dalton. Yeah. And that's original, perfect headliner. Um, dome lights work in the, in the uh, dash area. Um, I mean, I bet these original seats. Yeah, they are. You can just see. Original seats, but in great shape still. Um, back door panels are original. Seats are in excellent shape. It's got seat belts in the back. It's got seat belts in the front. Door jam pane is all okay on it. Only thing this car really needs is like some hydraulics where you can just bounce it up and down. Lift it up and down a little yeah. bit. Do a little wheel hop with it. That'd be pretty sweet. Thank you, ate too much pizza, man. You're a little hyper with the hydraulics. I don't, I don't know. know about that. Fight. Fight me. <laughs> As we go down the driver's side, same thing. Nice straight car, uh, driver quality paint. Um, so there's just a little bit of orange peel maybe on that dark blue, but um, a guy wants to West End and buff it, it would even be that much nicer, but still very clean. chips, couple little, um, right here guys, I didn't see it on the other side, but right here you can see there's just some little tiny paint cracks right there, a little paint chip here. Over the wheel well is perfect, in front of the wheel is excellent, no bubbles, no blisters, a lower door is great, rocker panel is excellent. I'm actually pretty impressed by how solid uh, this car is. Yeah, I, I got it up in the air, I took 25 pictures underneath, it's really solid. Uh, front fender paint is excellent. Um, our gap is really nice on the top of the uh, top of the fender all the way down to the uh, bottom of the door down there. I mean, just since all the door shut, dude. Door don't sag at all. Um, you got some surface rust here in the corner of the door, the bottoms of the doors and stuff. It's just surface rust, guys, where the paint's chip. Uh, armrest pad is nice here. Um, door panel. Has a little, uh, right on this seam right here, the glue's coming loose, just a little bit up here. Other than that's in good shape. The old Sabre horn works great. Um, coming in and out, this also tells me original interior. It's got just, sorry, it's got just a skosh of wear on this corner of that seat, just a little tiny bit. Also on the top here, you can see no, no seam splits or nothing like that, but you can see the stitching. Maybe just coming just a little, tiny little bit loose there. So I'm really uh, feeling that these are the original seats. Man. 
big boy car. It is a big boy car. Serious, man. This thing, big is, boys. this thing is awesome in here. Look at the headroom. A lot of leg room. I mean, comfortable. Yeah, it's super comfortable. I'll pass this over to you. Hey, also, guys, it does have uh, a newer style radio. Let's Original just... works too, though. Look. Oh, you're kidding. Original yeah, that's works cool. also. That's cool. How about the new one? I think so. Maybe you gotta turn it on. I get a little smarter. Oh, there uh, you're on the tuner. You got static, so speaker hooked up. If we can find a station. It works, yeah. It works. Oh, so that's working, guys. Go ahead and shut that off. Um, oil pressure is about 25, 24. Um, at an idle here, at a low idle. We got a low idle going on too. Um, temperature is running about 185. It is charging at 13 and a half, 14 volts. Horn works. Vipers work. The only thing that doesn't work on this right now, D, is the gas gauge. Um, that's something we're gonna have to try to fix. Absolutely. Heater fan works. Cool. Dome light works. Like I said, that headliner, guys, is fantastic. It? it really is nice. Let's get this thing uh, rock and roll and get some air blowing through here. 95 degrees. <laughs> 95 degrees today here in Iowa. This is our second video that we're doing. Um, but yeah, it's it's a little toasty out. Um, as far as the car goes, uh, it does have speed alert too, Dalton. Oh, that's little, really cool. Yeah, it's got the little speed alert deal. Cool. Speedometer works. So everything works with the gas gauge. Two speed automatic transmission. Exhaust sounds pretty quick. Yeah, it sounds yeah, pretty good pretty too. Cool. Cackles. So, yeah, nice little V8 engine. The, uh, here's our brakes, guys. Stops really nice. Really nice pedal. Well, I think it's just got. Yeah, it does. It just has drum brakes. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I mean, this is just a car that would be fun to, I mean, just take and to a car show, turn some heads. It sounds good, man. Look at that on the road, dude. The steering goes perfectly straight. Goes straight down the road. Down the road, nice. 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 And uh, so that was that was 70 mile an hour. Let's just cruise it down here at 55, 58. There we go. Sweet. Yeah, cool car. Um, like Chad was talking, the undercarriage is real nice and solid. We got a bunch of pictures up there on our website. Um, I'll put the link down in the description of this video. Um, so go on there, check out the undercarriage pictures, uh, see how solid this Buick is. Anything else to add? I love it. It's a cool car.